morning, good what? afternoon, good evening, <laughs> whatever time of the day it is you're watching this and welcome to our unboxing and we're kind of making this a bit of a surprise for we don't know what it is. Surprise! <laughs> I've been ordering a lot of stuff lately and like which one is this? Which one is this? I have a feeling I know what this one is so let's go ahead and get started. And End the mystery, shall we? Bring out his swing. Yeah. Swing. <laughs> We're gonna do that right. Cut it right. <laughs> it actually did. It actually did cut it. Oh, okay. It, it just awkwardly. You know? <laughs> you know, it's thin Funimation tape. I mean, I'm surprised it's actually got Funimation tape. I'm, yeah. I'm surprised Funimation can afford tape. <laughs> it's tape. <laughs> It's packaging tape, and I think uh, plus it also lets like the shippers know what what where it's from, like what it could possibly be. But like, oh, this is going to some weeb's house. <laughs> I we gotta make sure we know that it's going. Oh, oh. oh. okay. We only have what looks like like one sheet of paper in here. There's the invoice. Uh, Don't care about the invoice. <laughs> All right, then you know what to do with the box. For six. <laughs> All right. You're probably wondering what the fuck this is. It's a shirt. Correct. <laughs> it's not a guessing game. You can tell. I'm looking at that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now that I see it's this. It's probably a shirt in large, too, by the way. No, I chose the size. Anyway, a large. I mean, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming you chose a shirt, too. Yes. Because uh, the other shirts, uh, what I'm trying to say earlier is I, now that I see this, I now remember what this order is it was um, how could you forget because like I said earlier I ordered a lot of shit and a lot of things were coming at the same time so I had to be reminded like what was what you know if for those people who order lots of stuff online like constantly you never know like what something is unless unless it's obvious to you like with the shape of the box or how it sounds how it feels how heavy it is and I'm going to continue staring like this because there's a lot of people who can tell the difference. It's yeah. called go online and find out what shipped first. <laughs> I mean, yes, there's tracking, but like I said, depending, like the, the, the last time we did an unboxing video, two packages came on that same day, remember? Yeah. Yeah, so, but some of the times we have to check, <laughs> so, but this, it's been a while since my last shipment was, I ordered this actually before. We need those last two packages we'll order. So this was a while back. A while? A while back. A while back. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and so it is My Hero Academia Season 4 box set. Which I've already watched and we've already watched. We're waiting for Season 5. I'm Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you, know, how, you know how in the past I used to say I'm so behind on anime like I never really watch them until they come physically to my house? Well... For this show in particular, I, I did not follow that. I have already seen this, so we can actually talk about it. Yes, because thank God you finally <laughs> watched it, and it's about yeah. time we caught up with something. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so, but now... That, now I mean, I'm the biggest off. otaku in this room at the moment, but Jesus Christ, dude. You're probably the biggest otaku in this neighborhood. Right? <laughs> I mean, that because a lot of old people... Anyway, that has nothing. You know what? Yeah. Old people can be weeps too. Okay. I'm true. I've, I've seen. I've seen them at conventions. I I saw. I saw that I saw this elderly couple cosplaying as. Uh, 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 I don't know. I think it was from Helsing. I think even. Uh, but anyway, yeah. This shirt was actually a free gift, and I got to choose what shirt I could choose. Okay. And uh, most of the, but the thing is, all the shirts they had available were anime I haven't seen. So I was like, I guess I'll settle for this. Okay. Not that, not the, not that this is a, is it the lesser of all of them, but. <laughs> okay, Hulk, <I> mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah. I guess we got a shirt like this. So it's pretty much a Funimation shirt. But not like their current logo, it's just eight. It looks like Spongebob on crack. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Crack Bob. We're gonna, we're gonna call him Crack Bob. <laughs> we're calling him Crack Bob. That's, yeah. that's just how it is. Well, this was free, so... 
Um, I'm not gonna say no to free. Well, no one says no to free. <laughs> well, there probably are. Like, I mean, there's like, a bunch like, of Karens out there who try to get the like stuff when, in camp. For when, free. I, when the Capcom forums were around, there were a lot of people that said no to free. <laughs> They were like, "I'm sorry, you're upset," or in, in our complaints here. But let there me, were let me, who let me give gonna... you, let me give you like a, let me give you like a free like fifty percent off discount on the Capcom store. They're like, they're like, no, like <laughs> in their rage, they're like, just no, <laughs> uh, those days. Hey, they disgraced Mega Man like so bad back then. It was so I'm, bad. I'm, I'm talking Mega Man Legends Three era. Give me a. Mm. Could you not do that with my hand was pointed gonna, towards it? I was gonna be careful. I was gonna be careful. Don't damage my shit. I hate these plat. I... You done? <laughs> yeah, I think I got it. And anyway, there are. There were, that was a bad time for Capcom back then. Because it was around the time I just joined the forums and. They, uh, you have to uh, give them the year because they don't know exactly when you're talking about. 2011, I think. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I joined the forums like, hey, everybody, how's it going? It's a freaking fire. <laughs> Dumpster fire, more like it. And for those who don't know, who are aware of the Capcom forums, <laughs> they're no, they no longer are live online anymore. They deleted them for, like, server. That stuff. Yeah, like, I'm going back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Make your collection shine. Oh, I guess this is just the... Uh, hey, how, how convenient. They put a flyer here that actually described all the contents instead of having to pull up my phone and look up what all the specifics of the contents are. Well, I guess let's go ahead and start off with the box. Uh, it has... Yes. Uh, it has, I think... Uh, I know that... This is an arc, right? The one where they're... The, it's a short together, arc. They yes. put together a band for for like the festival or something. Yes, that's before that happens. But yeah. yes. Yeah. And uh, I I actually found it quite interest quite interesting. How? Uh, tell yeah. us how. <laughs> <laughs> Character development, I guess. Okay, so we got an art a hardcover art book, which is quite common in these. To be honest, I thought I, I saw I saw these two put together side by side, and I thought I was like, oh, this these must be the DVD version. This must be the Blu-ray version. Nope, that's the Blu-ray. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this is actually the stu extra stuff that comes with it. Um, you ever oh, like, it's like another book. You ever like new Blu-ray case film? Dude, I like new spell anything. <laughs> like new car, new, new, new like new, new car, car, new keyboard, new computer. <laughs> like they all smell good. Don't know why. It's it's, it's, the, it's, it's that it's, new it's, smell. It's, it's all the plastic blue chemicals and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that is it. Oh, I get that. But I mean, oh, you got a oh, you got guitar picks up in here. I could give that to my brother-in-law since he plays the guitar. Or you can give them to me because I play Smack. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I'm playing electric guitar too. Ooh. Sorry, something caught my attention. What is it? I, I will show it later. You continue with your thing at the moment. All right. Here's some stickers. Uh, Be happy. Yes. <laughs> we'll, get to, we'll get to that. All right, so. Okay, so what it is that caught your attention? Right there. And what are these? What do they look like? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, that that those are actually quite nice because they they like glow and whatnot. Like I, I know I'm doing that kind of fast, but yes. <laughs> but they, okay. they they flashy. They okay. flashy. All right. Accor according to the the, the contents, Whoa. it is called premium art cards featuring Japanese release covers. Oh. I see. And Harry. Oh, I just noticed that in the background. That's the part I was talking about that's flashy. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I'm putting down the picks. Oh. I call dibs on the picks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have more use out of them. Yes, they'll be a missing part of my collection, but... <laughs> 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 
No, my collection is ruined. <laughs> oh, ruined. <laughs> you mean ruined? Ruined. <laughs> Everything about this is ruined. <laughs> and, you got uh, a little keychain here. Uh, it is uh, acrylic keychain. Yes, it is. Yes. A three-inch acrylic keychain. Show it. Why is the back got plastic on it? That is the most dumbest thing I've seen in a, anyway, sorry. Is it peelable? Yeah, I think so. It's just, I haven't figured out how to do it yet, but yeah. There's your... I mean, the plastic looks like it is indeed removable. It's just really on Warning, there. cancer and reproductive harm. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was on the back, <laughs> like it says it on the big packaging. Warning, cancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then. May cause cancer. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not ingesting these anytime soon. Is that the is that the, the the guitar pick bag? Yeah, that was the guitar pick bag. How could they do reproductive harm? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Is it a stabby stabby? I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, unless you're ingesting these things, I don't know. That's kind of dumb, but yeah. <laughs> Well, there's got to be like signs, you know, of course, you know. <laughs> Moving but, forward. Yeah, we, now there's only three premium Japanese art cards. And yeah, like, uh, there's pretty good. Definitely holding on to them. Uh, Moving forward. Yes. <laughs> Stop. Okay, we're going to put the flashy away now. Yes. <laughs> Because it's too distracting, right? Moving forward. <laughs> Stickers. Stickers. See, I would put this on my car. But they're too small to notice on my car. So I would need a bigger sticker. Yeah. It would be, I think these are more like for... If you are going to put these in your car, where would you put them? On my, on my windshield. Yeah, probably like in a corner somewhere. <laughs> yes, on my rear windshield is where they would go. Or on my bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Stickers. <laughs> <laughs> You're still on the guitar picks too. <laughs> I, I I like the guitar picks. Get off me. <laughs> They're nice. You don't get a lot of nice things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next is it's called the Key Frame Collection. A 48-page Key Frame Collection. Oh, I see. Show it. Huh. We're only going to go through a few of these, not through yeah. like everything. Yeah, it's, uh, it feels like there's how many pages? Oh, there's there's plenty, trust me. There's everything from the beginning all the way to the... To the... To the uh, ending with the music. Oh, yeah. like So, uh, for those who don't know, like, explain what keyframes are. Um, it's before they add on all the color and everything to it. It's like the final frame before they add everything to it. Yeah, so we don't know exactly what key, what keyframes are, but it, we can tell, we can probably guess just by looking at what they might be, unless you're gonna look it up. <laughs> a keyframe in animation and filmmaking is a drawing or shot that defines the starting and ending points of any smooth transition. That's what it is. All right. These are called frames because their position in the frame is measured um, in frames on a strip of film or on a digital video editing timeline. So basically it, it, it's each beginning and stop. I see. Yeah, it's just something where the cha or something changes in the timeline. Anyway, moving forward. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, obviously, it's the blue. In case, case you're not an animator, that that's what it was. But yeah. So now we're gonna go to the hardcover art book. Go ahead. Ah, that's good. <laughs> too close. <laughs> All right. Uh, once again, it's kind of like the keyframe. A little more keyframes in it. I don't, this is, so this is a hardcover keyframe book? I would guess so. Nah, let me, of course I'm not gonna go through well, all no, of it. Well, no, it's an art book. It's just a regular Yeah, it's, it book. says an art book, and uh, 
if you look at the contents, it does say that it is a 80-page hardcover art book with cast interviews. I'm assuming that's near the Towards end. Towards the end. Can you? I only have one hand. <laughs> that's all you get. There it is. <laughs> that's all you get. <laughs> that's all you get. <laughs> Don't record that. <laughs> it already was. <laughs> God damn it. Now we gotta decide whether to keep it or not. <laughs> All right, so not a bad collection. It does give you plenty <laughs> to, to look at. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's gonna stay. And so the blue rays and the DVDs, uh, of course, they're usually valued at around 30 bucks. Like, it's Blu-ray. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I. <laughs> cell phone. Blu-ray. <laughs> Talk about a cell phone. Uh, they are Blu-rays. They're gonna be a lot more expensive than just 30 bucks. When's the last time you bought a Blu-ray that was at 30 bucks? Oh, uh, well, it's all, well, it's not just any Blu-ray. It's a, a TV show. Season, Excuse me. Season Blu. -ray. Yeah, exactly. When's the last time you bought a Blu-ray that had seasons in it? <laughs> uh, aside from this? Yeah, yeah. very aside this from this. This is really the, well, uh, nowadays, this is really the only season Blu-ray. I'm making sure there was nothing else in the box, because we had issues with that. Yeah, remember, <laughs> remember how we used to, used to think, what is this, like, air from Japan or something? <laughs> Freaking David <laughs> <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> that freaking David's joke. Okay, the that goes there. That goes here. If you if you can see it, probably the key frame. Gotta make sure this is all in the shot too. There you go. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just come in like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> so ahead of the script of what was wrong with you. Yeah, these two. Uh, don't know if they're gonna be viewable. Not really. You can't really stand them up either. They're kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lucky son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Just don't laugh and. Sh <laughs> I wasn't even laughing. I'm not any. I'm not even touching the table. <laughs> so I guess we'll just hold them up. We'll deal with this later. So what would you say the total value of this? Let's go through it uh, piece by piece. They said the Blu-rays were like what thirty? I'm gonna give the Blu-rays forty-five. Forty-five. Uh, so some do go for that season. Once. Well, okay. First off, it's a brand new season for one. Okay. It's also half of a season. It's also well, whatever. But yeah. still. <laughs> Second, second and most importantly of all, there was a lot more into this one than there have been in the last two or three that we unboxed, so yay. <laughs> so, but this one had a lot more interesting stuff to it. Like this is actually pretty, like, yeah, you would want, you would want the voice actors to definitely sign the back of this. So it gives them enough room, not the front, the front you want to keep that hurting. This side, <laughs> yes, you can have them sign on back of there and then put it in a little, you know, Photoshop thing. And then, wow, what am I thinking about this Photoshop thing? Wow, <laughs> <laughs> I am old. No, just kidding. Um, no, I'm really like I'm almost forty. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, so it's forty. Speaking of which, for the Blu-ray, five, forty-five. Uh, how, what would you value the sticker? On that sheet, the stickers. Are you fucking serious? We gotta go through this, man. Are you are you fucking serious? Stickers. Something so, you can easily get at a fucking like you know, twenty five cent drinks in something machine. I forget what they call them. <laughs> yeah, but these could these could be like uh, official so, official stickers. So, so, so maybe so, maybe ten. <laughs> Maybe 10? No! That, that low? No! <laughs> At what, maybe five? 250. How many stickers are on there? 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Multiply it by 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, fuck it. What's this so, 350. <laughs> tree, 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 tree pity. <laughs> tree <laughs> pity. <laughs> All right, so that is that is that one of these things just don't stick. Um, so, the stickers, yeah. The Blu ray. So, that's about 45 50 around there. Of course, the box set is the case. I'm sorry, he can't do math. It's 4850. Yeah. In case you were keeping up at home. Yeah, hey, that's fine. <laughs> math is my worst subject. Yeah. That's not the point. <laughs> Back when I was in high school. Uh, so, the guitar picks. There's three here. So, guitar picks are... Where do they go for? No, they're... Uh, like, your standard set of guitar picks, you can get like 20 of them for like... Five bucks. Easy. Probably even less than that. Um, the fact that those have like certain items on them, like if you were to get a stack of those, yeah. uh, it would probably be anywhere between like 10, 15 bucks easy. Cancer and reproductive harm. <laughs> <laughs> warning. Get over the warning, okay? Because <laughs> I read it one time. I wonder, what, I wonder what happened during testing that caused someone to have reproductive harm. I wonder what happened to get somebody to put that in their mouth. <laughs> Maybe that's how it reproductive harm. That's <laughs> how probably cancer is or whatever. Yeah. Um, let's see. The keychain. This is a standard keychain. Well, it's an acrylic one, and I don't know if those. Yeah, are, but I, I don't know if those are more or less. It doesn't know. Like, uh, like you can find acrylic keychains everywhere nowadays. So. And ac uh, well, acrylic pieces, not just keychains, but pieces. Uh, to begin with, like their value can be determined based on, you know, who's selling them. Three fifty. Yeah, because there, there was remember remember those last acrylic pieces that that came with the stand on on a previous My Academia box set. We yeah, had? but that was different. Those were bigger. Yeah, those were bigger, and I had and they didn't upstairs. have a hole punched through it. And I remember, <laughs> and I remember at a convention once I was going through a dealer's room. And I saw someone else uh, uh, selling acrylic, you know, My Academia pieces like that. Not a keychain, just pieces for about 25. And there's like only like two of them. And I told you guys about that in the group text, and both you and Dave were like, rip off. But the, the thing is, with. Because it is a rip off. Yeah. And, and they $25 were, for that? And they're, they're only like about this size, you know, like from there to there. It was. I mean, I get it, it's it, from it, your favorite anime and it, everything. It, but it, it, it was Deku and, and Ochaku. Uh, so we, that's we, not the point, though. Yeah, no, no, like, if, I'm, you're no, gonna, no, if you're going to sit there and tell me that's 25 bucks, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to smack you and then try to get you to lower the price. Well, well, you, well, you and I and those watching, most of you would know that with dealers and dealers room, they, they're not always like sold at like discount prices. Some are, like you'll find some really good deals, like especially like on Sundays, you know, where they have to like sell as much before the convention closes. Well, yeah, because the more they sell, the less they have to carry out. The Sunday special. I once bought uh, freaking graphic novels for, on a Sunday special once. And, uh, but they do, of course there are some that are over, overpriced <laughs> and I, and, but, you, it, but you would have to know what the price is elsewhere to determine whether something is overpriced. Anyway, tangent over. You're so, overpriced. <laughs> so now, <laughs> what would you say about See those? Uh, the, pre the premium Japanese art cards? And they're See, the fact that they're art cards, the fact that they're somewhat holographic, you know, it's kind of like, like, yeah. I don't, I, you, you yeah. never collected cards as a kid, I don't think, but. Not, um, not, not like long term, but I, I kind of did back then. I would take it the equivalent of like buying a Pokemon card, you know, and getting the holographic in that. Yeah. Um, because when I opened that, I was like, oh, like my, Sorry about like the my, <laughs> my attention was immediately drawn to that. So my, my thinking is, is like a general Pokemon card. Like some of them are holographic, right? The, a lot of them are holographic. All right. I don't feel like, um, sorry. But, but the, hol the holographic ones are usually the more expensive ones. So, um, not only that, but like, it's, like you said, this is art. So... Yeah. <laughs> if I were to 
give it a price tag, I'd say probably for three of them, twenty a piece. Oh, eight, twenty each. Wow. Well, because I mean, look at how nice they look. Yeah. Um, uh, price, yeah, they're nice, but I'm kind of wondering like if we're gonna go over the actual price I paid. But well, I, yes, of course. <laughs> actually, most of the time, we've either been either close in previous Once markets. again, price is right. <laughs> yeah, because in the past, in previous... The price is wrong, bitch! <laughs> the, <laughs> because in the past, when we've been going through this uh, value you know, discussion, we usually end up either at the price I paid or just a little over it, you know, based on, you know, our past. So, next is the, the hardcover art book. It's a... Uh, See, I... Okay. It's, Including the five I'm just, I'm just gonna say 80, something. 80 yeah. pages. I'm just gonna say something really quick. Um, I don't mind art books. I don't mind them. Like, I mean, these are both art books. Yeah. Regardless of what you say, this the, that's the keyframe one, whatever. It's still an art book. Yeah, paperback and hardcover. Um, we got to both on this side. I, I don't mind looking at the art of an anime or a video game depending on, you know... Most of us don't. <laughs> depending <laughs> on the game that I'm playing. I have yet to find a, an otaku or weeb that doesn't like looking at anime art. Anyway. That's a different story though. Yeah, but in, in yeah, respect to the, the art books and things like that, I honestly think that, you know... But these these are really easy to lose. You're gonna lose track of it eventually. You're not gonna keep everything together. You know, it's uh, well. I mean, unless, unless you're that unless, much unless of you're like, avid, like yeah. collector. Oh, oh yeah, unless you're like me, where I tend to keep most of the content like, the set in the set. Like I bought Severn Kagura for the PS4 like way back when, and I bought the box set because box set. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, it came with it came with like a CD. It came with like uh, postcards, and it came with all this other stuff that was great. And then one of those things was an art book, and I'm just like, I, I don't need to see somebody draw me some anime titties. <laughs> and if you do anyone anyone who plays, anime titties. <laughs> yeah, put that in. <laughs> I mean, if anyone's watched or played Sandra and Kagura or even watched it because it is on Crunchyroll. Um, <laughs> free out, free toss out for you there, Crunchyroll. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but it, it, they, made the, they made it an anime and I'm just like, eh. <laughs> Did you, what'd you think? I mean, what, of the anime or yeah, the... Yeah. It was your basic big titty girl anime <laughs> it, it was so chock full of fan service it was ridiculous I mean if you want fan service play the game you can trip down to your skivvies and, <laughs> and and just you know watch girls beat on each other in their bikinis but you know and then they came out with the squirt gun version there you go <laughs> so, so and then they came out with another version which was a prequel to the first one <laughs> oh. All right. Anyway, coming back to this. Sorry. Yeah, so um, we're, I, we're determining the values of the hardcover and paperback art books. Ten, ten dollars, seventeen fifty. <laughs> <laughs> so, and and uh, we did manage to get the keychain. Did we took the keychain value? I said three dollars and fifty cents. Okay, yeah. but. If if we're talking like how how the people scalp you over there at the conventions, so well, it's acrylic. Then I so would say more like fifteen twenty bucks. Yeah, at least maybe I would say about five or ten between there, ten max, five minimum. I mean, I, I, the acrylic material and light might raise its value. Of course, I could be wrong, but I I, I just can't help but think of that. So I'm so excited. All right, so. Adding this all up, um, would you say? Uh, oh, well, I want you to guess uh, how much you think I paid for this. And this was directly from Funimation.com. This was this oh, was, okay. this, so, uh, this, was okay. pre, this was pre-ordered, so it wasn't on sale. I've nope. been out for a while because I remember you said you said a comment like that with uh, 
season two of Is It Wrong to yeah. try to pick up Girls in a Dungeon, but I actually also pre-ordered that, so that wasn't on sale either. Because uh, I'm gonna go with like seventy-five bucks. Ding, ding, ding! Actual <laughs> retail price. So come on down, Richard. Spin the wheel. <laughs> Dude, you know what I would do on that show? Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, Drew I Carey looks that. unrecognizable now. Well, well, that's a tangent we don't need yeah, to go no. down. That's but, all it is. The price is wrong. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, Bob Barker didn't agree to do that uh, movie, but much less that scene, until he was told by Essa that he gets to beat him up. <laughs> so he's like, yeah. So. And, then, and then 20 years later, they got to beat up each other again in an impromptu scene of Bob Barker in a, in a hospital. <laughs> so yeah, fun, fun, random fun fact there. Anyway, so yeah, this we I did pay around 75 for this, maybe at 80 with like tax and shipping. Uh, that's usually the price for these uh, box sets where it's like half of a season. And it, in, the, in actuality, this is uh, season four, uh, part two, but this box set is just the whole of season four that you can put it in. And I actually have uh, part one r right here of season four. So you, you basically put them together. And it looks like I still have some room here, possibly for, yeah, the hardcover. Maybe the paperback? I don't know. I'm not sure. The paperback went in here. Up here? Okay, so it's not meant to go in the set. Because it doesn't say anything about what can fit in the box set. It says, the, all it says is right here is there's room inside for part one. And that's it. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, part two was off to the side. So it was like part, it was like this. Yeah, that's part one. And then the book. And then this. Jimmy! Oh, you mean what it came shipped with? Yeah, how it came initially shipped, and that's how it initially came. Yeah. Well, a little more space with this sleeve on, but yeah. <laughs> but that's like, what, millimeters? Why are we going to be picky? <laughs> I'm being actual, actually... I'm, <laughs> I'm being much. actually. I didn't know you could be actually. <laughs> Explain actually. How can you be actually? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, is it um, actually, or is it just actually? Uh, it's it's yeah. just actually. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, it's freaking the meme, I think. Uh, so there you go. Season four, now complete in this box set. Uh, let's talk about the season and what we thought of it. For those who haven't seen season uh, four yet, you can skip this section. Uh, we'll put the timer of where you can skip to right here. Um, but what did you think about the, how many arcs are in this there? Two? Two or three were, were in the season? I know there was the, there was the band arc. See, so there's, no, the, why are you always going toward the band when the band is the ending part? <laughs> is that the only part you remember? I go by what I read online. Like so, there. so for, first they, they beat the, they beat the, the mob boss kid. Mm -hmm. they, they beat him. Oh yeah. And then, and then um, they finally have Ari at the academy um, to finally witness happiness in life, <laughs> or try to know what it's like to be happy. Um, yeah. And then, then they start talking about the whole class school festival for the the hero academy, but how they're supposed to keep up all the defenses for it and whatnot because of. You know what's been going on recently with the you know League of Villains and all that stuff. <laughs> the, the League. Yeah, <laughs> the league. <laughs> and you know, like we see many times. Dude. I know it's like a uh, what's well, a tradition in Japanese schools that when well, they have festivals, yeah, the whole school stuff. Uh, like we here, you in America, gotta give a, you gotta give them a break every now and yeah. again. I mean, I mean they go to school. They go what, to school almost six, all year, except six, for like uh, summer. Well, well, Persona Five taught me that they <laughs> they go to school six days a week, Monday through Saturday, and uh, their summer vacation is only like a month and a half, whereas ours is like two months and a half, roughly. Well, not including if you're not including like. 
spring break, Christmas break, Thanksgiving uh, uh, yeah, break. The, the summer break. <laughs> well, their spring break is technically Golden Week. It happens around the same time, you know, in, the, in, in spring. They do get a winter break. But anyway, going off on this tangent, uh, real, uh, high schools in Japan, like we've seen, like do have the school festival where the whole right. school sets up and classrooms get to do whatever they want. Here in uh, here in America, uh, I don't. High, our our schools do have some type of festivals, but I don't think they always happen every year, unless I, unless I'm remembering wrong. I do if they have a festival, first off, it's not like it's televised or it's communicated to. It's just nah. like it's just hey, school's having some kind of festival. I remember. Come check it out. I do remember <laughs> when I was in elementary school, we had a something that's like that, uh, like it's what's or, called field or, day. Yeah, yeah, field day. I think that's what it goes. Thank you. And so uh, there was like, come here and participate in the fifty-yard dash or. Uh, that's like one of the few ones I remember. <laughs> Come here, grab a, grab a balloon, think, now run all the way over to a chair and try to sit on it and watch it pop and then run all the way back. Maybe go, uh, go to the gym and see who wants to see who can climb the rope. Right? Ugh. I always completed it too. All the time hey, we had the parachute. The that, that was fun. I also had the parachute as well. We wouldn't even throw little bouncy balls on. Exactly. <laughs> and we would just... Everybody would force that. Everybody would go up and everybody get inside <laughs> and while holding that parachute down, trapping air, you know, to create a dome. Ugh. Fun times. And, well, it, it was elementary school. We were meant to yeah. be, I mean, yes, we were learning, but it was more about fun in elementary then, school than it and, was about. And then we get to middle school slash junior high, for those who still use that label. Um, they get rid of recess. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing. There's of course, I don't know if they, I don't know if they really had festivals. Um, they do. They instead we got like just dances. No, we got dances and half days. That was. That's what we it. got. Yeah. <laughs> we got dances and half days. Yeah, there we, were, there were, and there were that in high school. There were pep rallies. But the only, but that's only if you cared about the. That's only if you sports, cared about no, no. It was that was more about school spirit and everything else, not. But, but I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it involved the sports teams and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, we're going to win today. We're going to win on Friday. Yeah, yeah. And then watch them lose. Hey, my, my, uh, hey, my senior year at my high school, our team went to the freaking championship. So you know what? So, you can shut up. So our you can rallies, shut the fuck. Yeah, my, my high school beat his high school in the season. But you beat us every but, year. But to be fair, you did take us to overtime that Still one, but <laughs> on my side. But. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about my team because yeah. I I have words about what happened my high school year, and <sighs> so so how about that tangent? <sighs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, my point is after all saying this, I just kind of wish you would have what the Japanese high schoolers have, where where the whole school is like a festival and stuff. I'm sure there are some high schools that do that, but I think that's. It's not really a tradition like it is over in Japan. It's more of just like up to a choice or if there's like a fundraiser or a budget to have it happen. And it's and it usually I, the students are left with trying to figure out their own way of figuring out their budget. And I know I can't remember if we actually had something like close to the level of the festivals that they do. Uh, we do we kind of had like our own ones like you know, like I mentioned earlier, you know pep rallies and dances. Dances were mostly our freaking festivals <laughs> and stuff, but... Uh, well, I mean, we had, what, two or three a year? Possibly, yeah. And of course, not counting the prom, because the prom is actually universally traditional uh, here in America, so... You know, we're probably, you know, like half of our audience has probably been to all these and they're just like, why are they reminiscing about high school? These guys must be old as shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're under 40. So we're still young. We're still old as shit, though. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I gotta address a, a somewhat uh, uh, spoken about elephant in the room. A lot of fans of this of this show have said that this is this season is kind of when it started to go downhill. Have you heard about that? I have. Mm. But I want to get your take on. It. It got okay. So after, when they when they beat the mob boss's son or whatever, 
Yeah. Um, in the first half of the season, right? It was really, really good. And that then, was. And then it just kind of like went elf kilter. And then it introduced these two characters, which... Which that they were in their own group. Right. And, uh, and they funny. had really weird quirks, with, but they worked together in a weird way. But that's a, that's a, wasn't the point. It just seemed like they were trying to find something to fill in time with. And they chose to do that. They weren't like trying to like follow Stain's legacy to create a more society where where there's, where there's heroes that are actually worth being around. Well, I mean, this one like like this this whole season was just about getting Aerie out, get, getting her her freedom the way that she was supposed to have at the beginning. And then Which basically is, teach her how to be herself and be yeah. a smiling teenager yeah. again. Which is fine. Well, not teenager, but smiling kid. Yeah, which is fine, but uh, uh, but uh, what was it? Well, the complaints that we read. I guess I'm. All I really heard was they just said season four is when the series started to go downhill. Like, like uh, there's oh, for any series anime series that has more than two seasons, they always go over this speed bump like in the series like it's good up to a certain point then it starts going down here at a certain point for my for most for most of them the third season tends to be where they start to go down here or the second season but this series is going to be going on for a while and I, <laughs> my source my source is uh colleen clinkenbeard the director well they're already coming out with the fifth one yeah she told yeah she told me last time i met her a few years ago that yeah, this is a triple A title that they think is they're going to be, you know, trying to like follow, it's, complete, it's, adapt, no, no, adapt as much of the manga as possible. There shouldn't be as a it think anymore at this point. It it, it is a main. It, it's a mainstream. It's a mainstream one. one. Yeah. The only thing is that they are not televising it like they would like Dragon Ball Z or yeah. some of the yeah. other anime that's yeah. out there. Uh, but yeah, and like I just said, this is a triple A title. I was telling him this earlier before we started filming that I learned from Jade Sax Jade Saxton, and, and I ha and she says this in one of my previous videos, and I'll link it up right here. That the fun that when Funimation licenses new shows to start like dubbing or rewriting for Western audiences, that they they tend to like forecast shows on how popular they think they might go and they rate them ba based on a letter system. I think like C, B, A, AA, and AAA and that's where the term AAA comes from. And if the tri AAA titles are like, you know, this show, Attack on Titan, you know, what else is, what do you call it, AAA? Like, of course, Dragon Ball. I've, Dragon I've, Ball, of course. Dragon Ball will probably never. No, Dragon Ball lose is their just license. sitting in an S tier. It's never had come down. <laughs> S tier, yeah, like, like there's there's very little anime that's actually reached an S tier mark. But I'm sorry. It's, it's, what would you What would you think Naruto would be? It's a slight A to a B. Yeah, you don't think it's like double A or triple A? No. Some might. Be. Might might be a double A at, 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 at least at, at most. No? At the very least. Yeah, Bleach. I can't do bleach, no. Anyway, so anyway, yeah, like, I would say I can kind of understand what they mean by when they think that the series started to go downhill with this season. Because when you compare it to, like, the first two seasons, where it's just, like, story, character development, setting, so, okay. conflict, like, huge conflict. So, I mean, they already, you know, they already, you know, somewhat took care of all for one. So look, there's there's this unwritten rule about anime where if an anime continues beyond two seasons, yeah, it's going to lose its bark eventually, or at some point. Um, My Hero Academia hasn't necessarily hit that point yet. Um, it's just it's just noticeable now. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got to say, as a as a fan of the series, I do miss seeing like powered all might all the time. I mean... I don't. I do. <laughs> okay. Well, because he, he was... Because that was the... You no, know, because that was the archetype, I think the term is, for uh, 
a popular superhero at the time. And I get that. They, and the creators of the show said they think they based him on American superheroes, like, uh, like a, not, not just his design, but like his, his, his character as well. I, and I can get that, but the whole point of All Might losing his powers is because he did hand them down to Midoriya, and Midoriya is going is the next all for one user. Yes. Yeah, so um. But so, All Might, the original All Might, was going to lose his powers at some point. Yeah. Because he no longer had them, he passed them down like he was yeah. supposed to. We we knew what we're saying is it was inevitable, and and yeah, it was. I mean, especially once they tell you in the series how that All Might is not like the original when they revealed it. You know, Cork, you know, user. Like, he was actually, like, what, like, the eighth? Fifth or eighth? Mm -hmm. He's the seventh. Seventh, yeah, so around there. And, and there's two that you don't know who they are, and one of them is speculated to be Bakugo, who went back in time. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not, I'm not uh, reading the mangas yet, but I do know, like, uh, uh, there are others out there who may have an you idea. You read the manga. Yeah. <laughs> And now there's spin-off mangas too, but that's well, the, there's that, there's spin-offs of spin-offs, yeah, like that as well. Okay, because look, like like there's I was Kobayashi's saying, Dragon Maid has spin-off. Like mangas. like I was saying earlier, the there's this trope of Japanese anime finishing in two seasons, because after two seasons, people start getting bored. <laughs> I've heard that before. You know, I've been in, in this fandom long enough to you know be fully aware of that unfortunate fact. Uh, and because more like, important nothings. Because <laughs> remember when, uh, when the last unboxing we did was you know, is it wrong to try and pick up girls in the dungeon? Yeah. I was I was told I was told by other fandoms that season three, which recently you know wrapped up airing here, yeah, is when it started to go downhill. And I I did watch season two eventually after unboxing it, and season two was freaking amazing. And there you go. <laughs> so anyway, let's see how far My Hero Academia as a series can go. Well, this uh, I'll probably order the next box six. The, the box story six. behind Hero Academia actually is that they, as a, they are planning to finish it. Yeah, and they are planning to get through the end of uh, of it until yeah. the manga ends. Yeah, so. I mean, which is fine, because, I mean, this is keeping up with the manga as best as possible. Yeah, I mean, this um, is good. It's, it's not like One Piece, where, I yes. mean, One Piece just won't die. <laughs> Naruto did end, right? And went to Boruto, but yeah. yeah. Yes. So Like, Naruto actually had an ending, and it didn't end in the harem ending like yeah. it would in other previous times. He actually got with Hinata, not yeah, Sakura. Yeah. Yeah, it's thank just, God, not Sakura. Oh, <laughs> there was uh, yeah, because it's not. I mean, could you imagine their children? Holy shit! Can you? Well, yeah. But that aside, <laughs> uh, as anime fans, we you see a lot of love stories in both mangas or past shows, where you just you know shipping is big in anime fandom. My recording of the My Hero Academia panel at San Japan is one hundred percent proof of that. Uh, <laughs> You know, it was still fun to watch, though. But you know, that that aside, because it's 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 the main cast, and they we, you always the want to have this protagonist end up with this one, especially in freaking harems. But that's a no, another fucking discussion to, to talk about. That 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 we might talk about in a future podcast if yeah, we ever we, bring that we back. Probably, which we um, will. I, I think we will someday. I mean, I, I'm not going to retire it, but. Retire, retire. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, as so long as I got um, more stuff coming in, yep. there you go. So, but, so, uh, but, but, but that's, so but, 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 yeah, but, so but. <laughs> but, that, but, that, but that aside, no, but that aside, yeah, like, there's not, no, there's not like a ton of anime where you see a, a relationship between a protagonist and a, and, and, and end up with, end up with the girl always, you know. And, but when it does happen, I love it. Fruits basket, fruits basket. You see, you, you brought up uh, Naruto Sword Art Online happens on as well. <sighs> yes or no? 
I, you're, you're the one that watches it, not me. No. Oh, because you haven't spent or spent like five seconds watching it, but yeah. Uh, but then again, there's a lot of people who think it's a shitty anime, which it's fine. I mean, everyone has their own opinion. I mean, <laughs> I I'm not gonna argue it. I mean, I have watched SAO. I like it. I thought it was a pretty decent anime. But for those people who didn't like it, you all brought up some really good points on why the anime sucks. So, so you're like, I get it. <laughs> and I, I know I get I'm not gonna argue it, yeah. but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit there and say I didn't like it. Yeah. You know, because I watched all of the seasons, even the bad one. So <laughs> the really bad one. <laughs> uh, like like uh, do fan, do fans like uh, the Ghost in the Ghost in the Shell standalone complex series, which is the prequel to the original movie? I've heard that has mixed reactions. I mean, well, there's a lot of them have mixed reactions. Well, anyway, the reason I bring that up is because I I have the series and I actually liked it because I got to see more of that universe and to get to know the characters a lot more than I could in a just a standalone you know animated movie. But I can kind of understand like if you look at it from a certain point of view why they would have that critique. Uh, but tangent aside, to end. I do, uh, I do appreciate, and when I, when you do get to finally see the protagonist end up with the girl, and it's, it's, and it's so rare that it's actually a freaking like stand, oh, a, its own like freaking top ten, which is probably only ten. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, to cap this off, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am probably going to watch this again because there were moments of this season, despite what people say, like I like. I did like the I did like part one here, like the first half. I'll probably check that out again, and that's one that I would recommend too. You can check out part two, which you know you can see what you think. And I'm looking forward to season five. And convention season is slowly, uh, as of the middle of what March, uh, slowly kind of starting to come back in terms of scheduling in the future. Well, we'll see what happens. But we'll see what happens. Like, uh, as to my knowledge, uh, three conventions are scheduled for sure to happen here in Texas. Uh, no word on San Japan, but I think you guys are still uh, waiting on that, right? Yep. So right. we'll figure it out. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>